Hello, everyone. I'm Carrie. I'm an SLP. And today we're going to do a practice question from True Learn's SLP Smart Bank. I'm going to read the question as well as the answer choices and go through the thought process and answering this question. So the question is, before leaving work each day, an SLP is required to submit billing and session documentation for all services she provided that day. At the end of one very busy day, the SLP realizes she didn't keep notes well during the day. She knows which patients she treated that day, but she can't remember who received both swallowing and cognitive treatment and who received only cognitive treatment. She bases her billing and soap note submission on her best guess and vows to do better next time. Has this SLP committed an ethical violation? So now the answer choices are, no, this behavior is sloppy, but it does not violate ethical codes. B, it depends on whether the SLP build the right client or not. C, yes, the SLP violated ethical codes related to record keeping and billing. And D, yes, the SLP violated ethical codes related to appropriate treatment. So let's go through these answer choices. And typically for me, what I like to do is I also like to look at like, the important details in the question. So it's talking about, you know, ethics and things like that. And we also know that the SLP had a long day. And so she can't remember who received both swallowing and cognitive treatment and who only received cognitive treatment, right? So we know that ethics is pretty much a shared value that SLPs all have. And it's pretty much like the preservation of integrity and ethical principles. So now we don't even know if like her billing is correct, right? She bases her billing and soap note submission on her best guess. So at this point, she's just guessing. Let's go through the answer choices again. No, this behavior is sloppy, but it does not violate ethical codes. I would agree. Yes, the behavior is sloppy, but I have a, to disagree with the fact that yes, it does violate ethical codes. B, it depends on whether the SLP build the right client or not. C, yes, the SLP violated ethical codes related to record keeping and billing. And D, yes, the SLP violated ethical codes related to appropriate treatment. I'm going to go ahead and go with C because of the fact that her record keeping wasn't kept straight, right? Typically as SLPs, we write down the clients that we're seeing, the goals that we're treating and whatnot. So then when it comes down to like writing soap notes, we can just go back to like what we worked on with the client and see, oh, I worked on cognition today. I worked on semantic feature analysis. So things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and say, yes, the SLP violated ethical codes related to record keeping and billing. And then review. And we got it correct. So what I love about TrueLearn is that TrueLearn gives you an explanation and a bottom line, right? So it says, bottom line, maintaining accurate records of clinical services, billing for services accurately, and evaluating the effectiveness of treatment are all ethical mandates. And it gives you an even deeper explanation. The ASHA Code of Ethics explicitly includes a statement that professionals will maintain records of services rendered, regardless of whether the SLP ultimately assigned her notes to the right patient when she submitted her billing and soap notes. She has not maintained quality records. If she submitted incorrect bills, she has also committed billing fraud which is another ethical violation. Finally, the Code of Ethics requires professionals to evaluate the effectiveness of the services rendered. If the SLP did not keep quality records, she cannot accurately evaluate the effectiveness of her treatments. Therefore, the SLP's behavior violates multiple principles of the ASHA Code of Ethics. It's good because TrueLearn also goes over, like if you pick another answer, for example, if we were to pick A or B or D, it goes over each one. And then it also gives you references and, you know, links that you can click through and get more information. Thank you so much for tuning in.